What's going on guys, welcome back to another fresh commentary. Now guys, I'm done. We live in a day and age where kids can't even handle whipped cream. This generation is just screwed because they can't handle a simple product like this. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the new whipped cream rule that has been made into effect recently, restricting kids that are under 21 years old from purchasing whipped cream. That's right, if you or anyone else you know decides to go out shopping and just so happen to add whipped cream to your list, I hope you're over 21 and bring your ID because it's now illegal to buy whipped cream unless you're 21 years old, just like alcohol and cigarettes, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but there's a reason behind it, hear me out. The reason for this whole thing is because kids ruin their privileges to purchase whipped cream, and the way they did that is kids have literally been getting high off the laughing gas in whipped cream. People have been purchasing whipped cream and straight up draining the tasty cream just to use the gas, and well, Albany, New York is sick of this, and they just rolled out a new law that restricts people under the age of 21 from buying whipped cream. The law, which was sponsored by New York Senator Joseph Adabo from Queens quietly took effect in November 2021 and is now making its way to other parts of New York and becoming more known throughout social media and locals in September of this year, with some stores straight up putting signs letting people know the new law before they even think about getting some whipped cream. And so this change, I say it's so dumb, like come on man, people have officially ruined whipped cream now. They can't even handle something that simple of a product. The gas is there so the cream could just pour out and it's convenient for us to use, to put on like cake or something. But no, no, people haven't been using it for baking or just to straight up dump it in their mouth or to put on top of coffee or hot chocolate just the basic use of the product no kids who are not even 18 have been using it for the wrong just straight up using the laughing gas just to get a whiff man and now you can't even purchase whipped cream without an adult which is so dumb like how the hell is whipped cream dangerous now who would have thought the most harmless thing would have such a rule over it it's now high up there like alcohol they're gonna be really strict about selling it now and who knows what could be next because i mean whipped cream isn't the only thing that uses nitrous oxide gas to push the fluid out of the canister. Maybe mousse for your hair will be restricted next or cheese spray. Anything containing this gas that you can just spray out is going to be illegal to purchase if you're under 21 now. And it's all because of this group of individuals who are using the product in a way you're not supposed to. Like, come on, man, you're ruining it for the rest of us. I don't want to have to go through the hassle of pulling out my ID just to buy this thing. It's going to be so annoying. Maybe companies will replace the gas with something else to solve the problem, but I doubt it because they probably probably been around manufacturing the same product longer than the kids who are using them to get high off of has. They're probably like 14, 16, or 18, something like that. And these whipped cream companies like Ready Whip have been around for decades. So they'll probably just deal with the new law and not care. But it will get annoying eventually. People are already upset by this news, with some people not caring and demanding the government to hold this new law. And I know it's spreading across New York as of right now. Not sure if any other states are affected, I'll just have to look into that. But if it ends up becoming a worldwide thing, I'm sure people would not let this slide and start complaining about it. I just think it's silly that now we have to be 21 years old to buy whipped cream. And I guess to stop these kids from doing all the negative stuff with these products. But I don't know. I think this is just taking it a bit too far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just wanted to talk on this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.